not the worst temperature. Where's the overheating one? Let's keep going up. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow, 85 degrees. Okay, so that's triggered an alarm. Okay, here we go. We're gonna find an effective fix for NVMEs that are running way too warm. Introducing. Oh, nice case. HP Z840 plus NVMe plus an NVMe adapter. Look at that. So what's special about this adapter? Well, this particular adapter can take the NVMe M key and convert it into a PCIe slot. But that's not it. There's more to it. We'll find out more later. But for now, this is our boot drive. That is a rather cheap adapter, but it works relatively well. There is one caveat, thermals. This particular adapter runs your NVMe at an incredibly hot temperature. So we're trying to reverse that problem, bring that temperature down, restore some function to the drive and even to the operating system. Okay, let's keep that there for now. Let's launch in. So this adapter, what's special about it? Why should you consider it? Well, this particular one has a fan. You can see that there, wow. And it's able to run two different types of NVMe drives or rather, M.2 drive. So the SATA connection there would allow you to run a B or M and B key, which is the older form factor. But really, we're just here for that M.2 NVMe slot and check the specifications there. So very nice aluminium extrusion or cover here. And that there would be our air outlet, which is quite important as well, but very, very convenient. These adapters are relatively affordable as well. We got four mounting screws keeping what would be the back plate or rather the uh, dust cover attached. So we'll quickly remove that. Check out the screws there if you lose any of the NVMe details. Okay, so let's have a look at this. What does it look like on the inside? Well, it's pretty well laid out as you will see soon. No real trick with removal except for that rear IO bracket. You'll see it's got a little lip hanging over you do have to clear that okay there it is we have the ability to run two different keys now you'll see the b key off on the right and the m key off on the left take note of those specifications we're just here for the nvme the m.2 nvme key m key let's have a look at it so removing our existing drive and we're trying to transfer this across into the bottom slot, which will have it running at maximum speed through our PCIe bus. Let's have a look at this. So what's our boot drive? Well, it's a Samsung 970 EVO Plus, 500 gigabyte. Pretty solid, not the uh, fanciest drive out there, but it works really well. So gentle of insertion of these, keep an eye out for the M key on the side. Now we do need a standoff to mount this properly. Luckily, they come supplied with lots of goodies. Let's have a look at it. So we're looking for one of those standoffs. Bit of a fiddle. Uh, let's speed that up for viewer discomfort. Okay, there it is. They also supply some screws. We may use one of theirs or maybe we won't. Okay, so what screw it is. I have some others lying around. Let's do it. So the standoff has a cutout. We do want the cutout to match up with the copper that you can see on the NVMe's end. Now for the screw. Oh, this is delicate while holding the camera as well. This is incredible. Okay, there it is. We have our NVMe mounted. Now you'd think we're done. This is fantastic. Oh, let's give you a quick B-roll there. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely check that standoff. You'll see the way it's mounted. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so now, I guess we close this up and do some thermal testing. What do you guys think? Yeah, we'll do some thermal testing. We need to see how this thing... No, no, wait, there's more. There's always more. Let's test out. That's right, thermal pad. We're gonna try some silicone thermal conductive pads to see if we can dissipate even more heat. That's right, there's a fan and now we're gonna dissipate using the aluminum cover. I don't know if anyone else has done this, but I highly recommend that we do a quick science experiment. Does this actually work? Okay, so we got two mil silicone here. We're gonna use as much as we need to in order for that NVMe to make contact with the aluminum cover. Now, I have no idea how much this is gonna use. This is fully experimental. Come on this journey. 
uh, I highly recommend that you cut on some sort of proper, yeah, this, this is really rough, but we'll just do a quick eyeball here, completely skew. Make sure you guys measure, measure yours out. Don't do what I'm doing here. That's not a good example. But for the science experiment, let's say it's gonna work just fine. This is okay. I don't even know if this is gonna work. I trust that it will. If it doesn't, well, you'll never see the video and you'll never know if it works, so that's fine. Quick trim. Yeah, eyeball, that's perfect. Perfect, okay, so first layer down and hopefully that makes contact and we can just sort of wrap it up here. That'd be great. Now application is a little tricky. I'm gonna try and make it look really easy, but even then it's actually quite tricky to get these on, especially with the camera trying to get a good view for you guys, but that's okay. Do your best. Keep an eye on the silicone pads. Once you pull off the sticker, they become really difficult to manage. As you're about to find out. Okay, let's get the plastic cover off there. Wow, that's really tricky. So using a screwdriver here to try and get underneath, the pad will damage very easily. So you gotta be gentle here. That is very delicate, but it's okay. There it goes. Okay, I'm touching the pad. That's gonna leave a fingerprint, but that's okay. I'm wearing gloves, so no fingerprint, lovely. Okay, maximum heat dissipation is what we're after. That's why we're using the cover. Oh no, it didn't reach. Okay, one layer is not enough. Let's cue some more. It's just a quick test of the leftover. Does that? Okay, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, it doesn't reach. Okay, we've got a problem. We need to fit more layers. It was worth a test. Okay, you guys knew it was going to require more layers, so let's... Oh dear. Oh dear, that's now not coming off. Uh, okay, I can recover this. I can recover it. Where's the screwdriver? That's a definite blunder. Okay, that's not coming off. I think we'll just have to end it there. No, it's okay. We'll get it off. We'll get it off. No worries. Now, once we remove this, how many layers do you think it's going to take? I'm hoping for maybe three. I think three is reasonable. Surely it's not going to take more than that. I mean, what if it's 10 layers? I don't have enough thermal conductive silicone to do it. Okay, we'll try. We'll try our best. Let's see. Two layers. Probably not enough. Three layers. Maybe. Going for layer two again. Far better off using a nice cutting pad doing this to exact metrics. But for our viewing sake here and for the test, we'll do a very crude one. Maybe I'll return with some better silicone and see if we can get an even better thermal result. Maybe it doesn't even work, in which case I'll probably still release the video and you'll still find out that this isn't a good way to do it. Either way, hopefully this works. It's two enough. No, that's not even close. We can tell just by eye. Let's go for a few more layers. Very dramatic. Okay, next one there. Didn't even show you the cutting. It was perfect as you would expect. And peeling off that layer. Okay, that's not too bad. I feel like I'm improving with the cutting without even looking. Okay, there it is. Beautiful peel. Okay, still not there. Let's keep going. We'll run through. So three was no good. We're now moving into layer number four. Layer, layer number four must be enough, surely. That's very delicate. Trying to mount this. No easy way of doing this. Okay, that's four. Quick test. Is that going to be enough? What do you guys think? That must be enough, surely. Okay, not too sure. Not too sure this is going to work, but we'll try. Let's see. Looking for contact. We will feel contact. Ah, oh, okay. There's no contact. Okay, so four is not enough. I'm almost using up the entire pad that I have purchased. But fingers crossed, five will do the job. Wow, that looks like a hamburger. That's really close though. I can almost feel it. Okay, so five is definitely going to be enough. But right now, no contact. Sorry going to make you hungry. Let's keep going. One more layer just before we close this up. That's right. Not quite there. Not happy with that. We need a fifth layer. It's okay. There's more than enough silicone to pull this off. Rounding off the final layer. This is it. Okay, excellent. That's completely skew, but you guys didn't see that. Let's peel it off. Let's do some testing. Surely this is going to work. There's no way this is not going to work, right? Okay, here it is. Victory. Yes, we've made contact. 
Okay, so that's five layers. Make a note, five layers, two mil each, 10 mil total. You guys do the math. Okay, excellent. That's a really good fit there. Hopefully I can retrieve the NVMe one day, should I need to. Oh, huh, didn't think about that. Okay, let's get these screws back on. So right now the aluminum dust cover will serve as a thermal dissipator. It's gonna release some of the heat and some feral cats in the background. That's lovely. Okay, let's keep going and uh, get these screws all mounted. Stunning. That was some rapid action there. Pun intended. Okay, there it is. Next level heat dissipation. I am so keen to see how this is gonna perform. Likely, it's gonna outperform my expectations. We'll find out very shortly. Okay, hopefully you're psyched up and ready. I wanna see this in action. Finally, no more overheating NVMe. Take note that was a non-branded thermal pad. There will be some better ones out there. All about finding one for high thermal dissipation rank, uh, rating or ranking. But more on that, maybe in the benching section, we'll see how we go. Okay, so refitment. Very important to remove our rear IO bracket there. Otherwise, no luck. Okay, there it is, HPZ840. We now have our NVMe cooled. Yes, that fan gap is about three millimeters. That's probably not enough. Hopefully the RTX 3080 doesn't get too hot. That could cause us some problems. But there is a gap, so it should just work. Or at least, I'm hopeful. Okay, let's give you some B-roll. And yes, there are the HP Z coolers or the 3D vapor coolers. So far, they've been a blast working really, really well. Some cinematic B-roll as we hype ourselves up for the thermal testing. This must be really close. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Are these going to be a successful NVMe cooling strategy? What do you think? Fingers crossed. Okay, where's the benching? I've been talking about the benching all video. Let's do it. We want to see the benching data right now. Okay, it'd be really cruel if you don't show us the benching data. Okay, there's the cover going on. That's a good sign. Let's do it. We want to see the benching data. Very delicate on those wires. Keep an eye out for them. They do cause some problems on these machines. Okay, there it is. Wait for the click. Perfect. Okay, cover on. Let's see what the NVMe adapter now does. So I have got some benching data before fitment and after fitment. We've got games, all sorts of testing, so many things to check. This is gonna be awesome. Let's see how it does during the next video.